ええあれは忘れもしない1987年4月のことです私は友人からある奇妙な依頼を受けましたとある大富豪の遺品である蔵書が大量に競売にかけられていてその一部に民族学的にも考古学的にもあるいはオカルト的な意味でも極めて価値の高いものが含まれていると思われるその価値を内密に見てほしいというのです87年六軒島での事件の半年後さようですそれらの蔵書は六軒島での難を逃れたものと説明されていましたそれを島の所有者である後宮江橋が競売に出したというのです This was apparently a high class restaurant. A middle aged man was sitting across from Angie in a secluded and quiet seat. A Makusa could be seen by the entrance. He was probably keeping a lookout for pursuers from the Sumadera family. The scholarly man across from Angie spoke politely but with enthusiasm. He didn't lay a finger on the food in front of him, so you could tell how excited he was as he spoke fervently. He was a professor at a certain college, and particularly well known as an authority on Western folklore. However, among his life works, that was only a convenient exterior. His true life work was the study of occultism, Western magic, alchemy, and everything else to do with the occult. As well as demonology. In short, he was the person in the best position to understand the details of Kinsu's research. First, the Zhoushou-Kantei-Shite-Wakat-Ta-Kot-Wa-Ushiro-Mi-Ya-Ebashi-Ni-Wa-Min-Zoku-Gak-Tek-Na-Kyo-Yo-Wa-Mat-Tak
no expenses to search around for quietly hoarded away and unannounced notebooks. There's probably no doubting that Ushiromi Akintsu was himself one of those dilettantes. No one knows what Kintsu went through to obtain those. But there can be no mistake that he used his vast wealth freely, buying them off of other rich people with the same hobby as them. Those books, which were so valuable that enthusiasts could never satisfy their desire to hold them away, were discovered in large numbers at the end of the 20th century. And their release to the public had given the entire world a massive shock. この一気により六金島の名は全世界に知れ渡ることになります。そして同時に六金島の事故によって未発見のさらに価値ある蔵書が大量に失われた可能性が高いことも全世界に衝撃を与えました。これにより六金島と後宮蔵書の名は我々に
、事故直前の数日以内に投棄したものと判断したようです。また双方の筆跡は一致しました。これにより、漁師の発見したノート兵の信憑性が増すこととなりました。メッセージボトルの内容については、中間誌などが繰り返し報道しているようですが、説明がいりますかないいえ、一応知っていますので。Many scraps of paper had been stuffed into both of the wine bottles. It was an extensive notebook written by someone calling themselves Ushiromiya Maria, but who wasn't Maria, and which told of the events starting the day before the accident and up until the day of the accident in a diary like way. And its contents had been the beginning of the Witch's Legend serial murder incident, as well as the Golden Witch Beatrice's puzzle. この奇妙な日記風式には、台風で島に釘付けにされた後宮家の親族たちが、魔女復活の儀式に巻き込まれ、次々に不可解な方法で殺されていく様子が記されていました。そして最後に、黄金の魔女、ベアトリーチェが蘇り、す、まるで、それこそが当日の全容であるかのように記されていました。また、当時の島の状況についても非常に詳しく描写されており、後宮家に勤務したことがある元の使用人たちは、間違いなく内部に詳しい人間が書いたに違いないと証言しました。その、おかしな幻想小説と、後宮蔵書以降のオカルトブーム、そして、結局は真相は闇の中という三つが合わさり、六軒島の魔女伝説を生み出したとさようです。すでに十年以上が経過した事件ですが、未だに世界のオカルトマニアの関心を集めています。いや、むしろ時間を得て、ますますに深刻化されたと言っていい。上陸禁止になっている六軒島に、密かに上陸しようというマニアも未だに多いとか、未だ未発見のメッセージボトルがあるのではないか。そしてあの日、あの島で本当は何があったのか、未だに議論はつきませんとも。As though he had finally remembered that he'd been going on and on for some time, the man took a gulp of water. His pottage was getting cold, but it seemed that the man's hunger had already been blown away. どちらも事故前日から当日までを記した日記風の式です。しかしその内容は、共に前日から当日を記した内容であり、にもかかわらず、内容は全く異なったのです。まるでどちらかが真実で、どちらかが虚偽のように。あるいは、両方とも虚偽なのかもしれない。しかし、始まりと終わりだけは一致するのです。始まりは、親族たち18人は台風で島に閉じ込められた。そして終わりは、全員が死に、黄金の魔女が蘇り、すべては黄金鏡に飲み込まれる。The contents of both message bottles wrote about the events of the day before the accident and the day of the accident. But the details were completely different. Both diaries outline a serial murder following the epitaph of the witch, but the order of the sacrifices, the way they died, and even the tale of the two days were different. However, in both, everyone died in the end and the witch revived, making for the same general plot. Ano shima de nani ga atta no ka? Yuitz no seizon sha de aru, Ushirumiya ebashi ga chinmuk shite ita ijo. Ano futska kan no dekigoto wa sube te ga yami no naka des. この二つの日記はその闇を埋める仮説を、こともあろうか、二つも提示してみせたのです。ど
ちらの日記でも2日間を説明できるしかしどちらが正しいのかあるいは正しいことが含まれているのかさえわからないのです Schrodinger's cat box If it isn't denied, even a mixture of truth and fiction can be the truth. Through the media, these scraps of paper had of course been shown to Eva as well, but in the end, she never broke her silence. しかし、面白みには欠ける。あの島であの日、何が起こったのか。それを考えるのが、ウィッチハントの醍醐味なのですな。ウィッチハントああ、ロッキン島ウィッチハントとは、この事件の真相をオカルトの側面から説明しようと試みるマニアの集いのことです。後ろ宮蔵書から謎の二日間、そして黄金の魔女の伝説など、六軒島に関わる謎は今でもマニアの間で盛んに議論されているのです。10周年の時にはニューヨークで国際コンベンションも開かれました。私も日本の代表として参加してきましてね。海外の熱心なウィッチハンターと様々な交流をしてきましたよ。海外では魔女はとても人気のあるカテゴリーでしてね。参加者の年齢幅も、下は小学生から、上は著名な文化人まで実に幅広い。日本でも近年ようやく。You probably don't need any more explanation, but he's one of the most famous Rokinjima witch hunters in Japan. Even though I didn't ask anything more, he kept continuing on excitedly all by himself. As I swirled a thin film of my pottage with my spoon, I shrugged my shoulders and sighed. Looks like researching about the message bottle really was a waste of time. No, if there's one thing I found. It's that a notebook supposedly written by Maria Onechan was actually written by a different person faking her name. And that person wrote up an occult legend on their own, put it into the bottle as though it was the truth, and threw it into the sea. I have a question. Why would they go to all the trouble of writing so much in order to prepare a suspicious letter like that? With a message bottle, There'd be no guarantee that it ever pass into anyone's hands. If the luck had been bad, it could have sunk in the ocean, never to be seen by anyone. And even if someone had picked it up, they might have not cared about it and thrown it away. Why would they entrust their confession of the truth to the sea with such an uncertain method? And why would they write up multiple different tales? If there had been one message bottle, claiming that its story was the truth might be reckless, but not impossible. However, because there were two, that made both of them doubtful. If someone was plotting to make out those two days to be the work of a witch, then they really did go one step too far. And because there were two, it suggests that an undiscovered third one, or possibly even more, might exist. In other words, the two differing contents make both of them harder and harder to swallow. But despite that, the contents of both matched in that they told of a witch in a tale. So, is that the main point the writer wanted to get across to us? It seems to me that the only possible explanation is that someone who wanted to give rise to an illusion of a witch carried out this crime for their own enjoyment. However, the 17 people other than Aunt Eva lost their lives, and a vast wealth or maybe even 10 tons of gold had moved around secretly in the darkness. It doesn't feel right, for a confession occurring after all that to bring up the solution of the witch. Even if we ignore the magazine's theories, it's very doubtful that the message bottle really was a diary. After all, the amount of writing was massive. It's hard to imagine that someone actually caught up in the middle of a serial murder like that would be able to calmly write it down. 
In that case, it's probably more realistic that this diary was written slowly over a long period of time, up until the day prior to the accident. In that case, would it mean that everything on Rokinjima was a planned crime, with everything prepared for over a long stretch of time? The fact that Aunt Eva left this world without saying anything is infuriating. She definitely said it on her deathbed. She definitely said that her reason for not telling me the truth was because it was her best way of harassing me. Yeah, by now, it's painfully obvious. Of all the things Aunt Eva did to harass me, this was probably the last and the greatest. But thinking of it this way, it's pretty doubtful that Aunt Eva is the true culprit. Of course, that's not because the handwriting on the message bottle was different from Aunt Eva's or anything like that. It's because in both tales that, we, that were discovered, Aunt Eva was included among the victims. If the writer of the diary was the culprit, maybe Aunt Eva was also one of the targets to be killed. Maybe Aunt Eva survived because something went wrong. Because I hated Aunt Eva, I came to believe that she had to be the culprit. But the existence of the message bottle makes me suspect that the mastermind is a far more profound and unknown person than her.